So I'm back at home and I've managed to do 202.9 miles plus 33 miles still in the um, system on one charge. That's cost me three quid. That is pretty impressive. So over the last week or so I've been driving the car all around the back roads in Essex and on some of the uh, dual carriageways, roughly doing 15 to 20 miles in each trip, some of them totaling up to 40, 45 miles maximum. And I am just about to actually achieve 200 miles on one charge. I'm just coming up to it now, 199.9. And we're going to get, as we go up this hill, 200 miles on one charge. And the charge meter tells me that I have got 21% left in the battery and 36 miles left on the range. So if I drive it around the back roads um, with the e pedal on all the time, bringing it up to 60 miles an hour and never really going much about that, of that, I can get well over 200 miles on one charge. And one charge only costs me three pounds. So that's pretty good, isn't it? Three quid for 200 plus miles. Obviously the big failure is, if I want to go out and down the motorway to Stansted Airport, that will scrub off half of the range in one trip. As soon as I go over 60 and have to turn the e-pedal off, all the power has gone. So it's like a top fuel dragster. If I can stroll along here, I'm just sitting on exactly 60 now. Got the e-pedal on, so every time I just lift off, that's regenerating the battery. So I drive this car pretty fast. I'm not known for being a um, sedentary driver. I would say that I make progress. I don't speed, I use the acceleration and I use the power and I use the handling, um, but I stick to the speed limits. In fact, we're below it now because we're behind a tractor. Car on the inside. In case you're wondering how I've worked out how much electricity has gone into the car, we have this smart meter and you can see how much has been used today. Today is Saturday and everybody's out so we've used hardly any electricity. But if I take the average of um, the overnight charge and then add my car charge to it, it works out almost exactly £3 every time. So that is very impressive fuel consumption.